If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC25, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC25 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Yo, guys, my bad, eh? I, I didn't realize the Hero SPC came out, man. I didn't realize. That was my bad. We missed out on that content. Because I, I checked... I checked um, Footbin, and there was no SBC on Footbin. And then I have, uh, you guys know my Twitter is all completely muted. <laughs> so I only have like easy SBC on, my, on my, my page, and I didn't get anything from them either. So that is what it is, boys. Um, yeah, we're check we'll check out both of the cards, though. I think we'll do the two showdowns. It's unfortunate because we, we could have done the Heroes one, too, because it was a big part of the content. But uh, the first one we're going to check out is Kaiseido. Uh, with Kaiseido, by default, he is a player who has the holding plus and the deep lying playmaker. Honestly, deep lying playmaker is actually really nice to work with if you're playing in like a two CDM formation. But even a one CDM formation like we have been using with the 4141, it is very, very helpful to have. Now, this card does have pinged pass he has tiki taka he has anticipate intercept slide taco press proven and relentless so to be fair he looks like a really really nice card um we'll check out ugarth afterwards but with kaiseido he is a person who has a four star weak foot as well right five foot ten controlled explosive three star skills for uh right footed as well uh rolls he still has the holding plus as well if you really want to work with that because he has a defensive play style so just be very mindful of um, of all that, right? So with the potential of this card, you know, winning and obviously getting the upgrades, there's a lot of things to work with there. Even though Man United is in a really tough spot right now, um, they could still win. Even though Ruud van Nistelrooy is uh, the interim manager now, they could still win. It's possible. You guys know how football is, right? But it's going to be the more popular choice, I think, of the bunch. But yeah, we'll be using him in the CDM position. It's mainly defensive capabilities. He doesn't really have that much shooting stuff. So a very similar review, in a sense, to the uh, to the Sissoko. But Sissoko can do long ball pass, which is crazy to work with, right? But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what he's like, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Yeah, Odegaard's like an underrated card, by the way. Is, I'm telling you because of playstyle. Oh, this was so loud when I put it in. Because of playstyle pluses, he's kind of crazy to work with. Oh, uh, one, two play, maybe? No, dude. You have to force it, man, because they just won't do it on their own. Oh, I'm surprised he doesn't get that there. Oh, here we go. The power shot do be crazy. I think with a regular intercept, maybe he should be getting it. But at the same time, like, they really emphasize the pluses nowadays, guys. Like, the pluses are really, really huge. But regardless, we could try that stuff out. Obviously... What was that? Oh my goodness. Obviously with the showdowns, you have to take into consideration the upgrades because that's when they really juice the cards, right? I tried to switch to the center backs there, but it took a, took a minute, bro. Because you always know that they're going to do it, but it's just the switching. The switching is crazy, bro. You do it so early too. He still he was still up position there for me, so that's great. Not again, please. That's the same meta play. It's always that it's always that spot. Like it's always that sided attacking play. I, I showed you guys in the attacking video. Hey, that was still a pretty decent pass. Not bad at all there. Nice little uh, pings pass upwards there. Oh, nobody wanted to register there, but he did at least. <laughs>
Nice pass. Nice pass. That was a really good driven pass by him. Oh, please switch. Dude, and you know what's crazy is that, like, if you have air balls, it will switch to another person that's not even him. That's why it's a little bit difficult to defend sometimes, because I'm, I'm used to air balls personally. Um, but it will switch off that player sometimes, right? Not all the time, but sometimes it will. Yep, well positioned for that. It's good stuff. A little bit rough, but it's not really his fault. Wow, what a deflection. If you, if you don't have deflector, like, it's GG's, bro. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Look how far back I am. Oh, oh. I had to move my keeper, man. I had to move my keeper. Uh, tree Villas are still effective. What is this shooting stats? The shooting stats are so low, aren't they? That's where they are, man. Well, he scores that regardless, so... There you go. I, sometimes I let go of the player, like the control on him, just so that he does a better job than if I were to do it. Because sometimes you tackle and it just doesn't, doesn't come off the way you'd like, you know? Okay, well positioned there to get that. He definitely has very solid uh, driven passes. Caicedo? Caicedo has very solid driven passes for sure. That can be very helpful in certain situations, but... Yeah. The intercept will, will happen sometimes. I think if you have the plus, it'll happen like way more often for sure. But hey, listen, he's got Tiki Taka with the pinked pass. Upgrades on that. Oh, you guys, man. Plus, maybe he actually gets it. Or maybe like even because you know how it is with showdowns. Like if they get the, uh, he just got net megged. <laughs> um... Those are forced animations, by the way. It's like you're just holding out trigger, block in the area, and then they'll just do it. Ooh, finesse shot there. But yeah, if you have the plus, more potential to actually get the ball there. Oh my goodness, I did not expect that camera change. Um, but also the fact that, you know, if he gets the actual plus, there could be like a crazy boost. Because you guys know sometimes they special sauce the, the showdown boost like crazy. So it just depends on what EA is feeling on that day, you know? So this was a driven pass, right? Like, driven pass, pretty accurate. So for the regular on that, it's definitely noticeable. But I think he needs more improvements. Takes a while to time that one, too. Uh, he needs more improvements, base card stats for his uh, other things to work, like the intercept and stuff. Doesn't have Trivella, but could still potentially score those on a green. You know how this game is, my dude. That's a double tap uh, R1. You gotta always watch for that. They always run into that specific spot, man. It's just hard to control the defenders to accelerate there, you know? Good first time pass. Driven pass upwards. There it is. Oh my goodness, that was sloppy like crazy. 
Floppy like crazy, but we got the goal. Good pass, Kaiseido. Oh, I was kind of hoping for like a chest control and then I could just hit the finesse right after. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Kaiseido card. So obviously we are basing this review off of what his base mechanics are rather than what the improvements are. And this is going to be a general thing when it comes to the showdown cards for this year's game. So let's talk about the things that you definitely notice with the card. So don't expect him to be someone like Sissoko. I think even after the improvements, I think Sissoko is just like a built. He just builds differently because he has like a bunch of crazy stuff. Now, it really depends on what direction EA goes if Chelsea ends up getting the win on the Shadow Chemistry style, because I definitely feel like I want the dribbling boost for sure. He definitely has like this feeling to it where I feel like it could be improved, especially since he is working with the press proven, right? I think there's a lot of potential to work with there. Uh, you definitely notice his passing being very solid, right? Passing being very solid is great because you can see that even though I don't have the long ball pass, I was able to make those lob passes from time to time. Now, another thing to consider, right, is we don't know what sort of evolution they're going to drop in the future because in the past, they have done evolutions for showdown cards that did not get upgraded, okay? So it's very important to mention this because if they give him a long ball pass and he's working with passing stats like this, there's a lot of cool stuff to work with there, right? Maybe some base card stats being improved in other areas, physical being improved would also be really nice too. But again, you definitely notice the card needing to be improved from a base mechanic. And that's the whole point of the showdowns. They want the team to win. And then obviously you get the improvements and then he could be potentially saucy in game. I'm not sure if the SBC price is 100K or 50K because I think both of these SBCs, yeah, it's fluctuating. So I think it's actually supposed to be like 45K. So... I wouldn't look into this too much because I think both of them are pretty much the same pro or the same things, right? So 83 rated top form. And then I think it's this one, the same thing. 83 rated top form. Yeah. So it's like all the same stuff um, as well. Again, I'm not really a fan of showdown cards because you have to like hope that they get the W. But at the same time, the SVC is like 50K. And then if they get the W, he could potentially be really nice. But it's just it's the potential part, right? Because... EA is the one that has to decide whether or not they special sauce the card. You know what I'm saying? But if they do special sauce the card, then I can see Kaiseido actually being a very interesting option to work with, right? Uh, but yeah, the stat improvements definitely need to be improved on that Shadow Chemistry style. Um, I think if you make his defense as perfect as possible in some of the areas, that would definitely be very ideal as well. Because having a card like this on a deep line playmaker with very good passing capabilities is fantastic to work with. And then in the future, maybe they drop an evolution, gives them a long ball pass, potential to work with there too. I would ignore the Trivella goal as of right now because, you know, Trivella is uh, still very effective to use in this game regardless of his shooting stats. But yeah, um, interceptions. I think if you have intercept plus, you'd probably notice it more. Or if you're a taller player, you'd probably notice it more. But you probably will notice it more if they actually give the improvements. Because like I said, EA does that like special sauce thing to cards sometimes um, in that way. But I want to see what he looks like on an anchor. Anchor with base card stats improved and uh, debatable. I think you'd still give him a shadow, to be honest. But uh, an anchor, maybe. I think you'd still give him a shadow, to be honest. Like, I, I think so for the most part. I don't know if people would actually make him a controlled player. But it's good that they make them 40, 50k. Not like, because uh, I don't think they're actually 100k. 40-50k is more fair for EA standards for uh, for the Showdown SBC, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'm going to go work on Ugart now and see how he plays, because he has a different role that's like unique to compared to like the other players in the game. But yeah, I'll uh, be right back for that video.